Um, <laughs> Tim Stutzel is a great player. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so according to Eric... Uh, uh, Erlinson? Er, yeah, Erlinson. Uh, hearing initial word that Nikita Kucherov is... Uh, word on Nikita Kucherov is not positive. Surgery could be involved. Assuming that's accurate, I'd expect him to miss some time moving forward. Should know more by later today. And all of hockey Twitter is like, oh, the Lightning can't get away with this. They're all losing their best player to injury. Do and just like how this is like a, a cover up. I, right. I want to throw something. They're Kucherov in. truthers. Well, I think. Uh, listen, the Kuch uh, is out there. I I don't nope. feel good about my pick uh, for him to be. Um, I don't feel good about my, my pick for the Lightning to win the division. Do you want me to add it to the list of Adam Cold takes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That's got to be several volumes <laughs> long. But but because of the Lightning, Jack Eichel? Look, man, the, thing, the, ti the timing doesn't work. Jack Eichel's not playing until March. No, but because Kucherov is on LTIR... Listen, I'm not going to... You're, you're right. I don't get it. I don't get that it. That doesn't work. I don't Couldn't understand. Because they? they well, they no. could just they get him and put him on LTIR as well. I mean, they were eighteen million over the cap. Didn't we hear that? It's it is interesting. Like, did you see the point clip with uh, Emily Kaplan? No, I missed that one. So there seems to be progress here. Like uh, Eichel's going to move. Like, which for a while it didn't seem like that was going to happen mm -hmm. at all. They just don't want to retain salary. That's all I know. Yeah. So that's bad. And supposedly, <laughs> well. okay, you're laughing because oh, could the Lightning be in on Eichel? Elliot Friedman just casually dropping that the Avalanche were in on Eichel. Yeah. What? But they've dropped out now. Yes, because the Sabers wouldn't retain. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's the uh, okay. Now we're we're approaching the first thing I'll take the Sabers side on. Like Eichel makes ten mil, and his contract's got five years left on it. Eh, yeah, that's kind of tough. Like I don't know exactly what the Avalanche were asking for. In terms of retention, mm -hmm. but uh, that can bite you for a really long time. Sure the can. Leafs are still paying Phil Kessel. Yep. Also, when you look back at that Phil Kessel trade, it's sort of ridiculous that they had to do that. Do that ever at all? Because they traded him to the Penguins. The Penguins, I think, were the team that offered the most assets. They, but, they wanted Kapanen. Yeah. Well, they. But they, also, um, they didn't have the room. The Penguins were in perpetual cap hell. So what do you what do you do? Ugh. Uh well, we're the Leafs, money's fake, you know? Ah, do it. Caps we're going up anyway. It's not like there's a global pandemic happening. Well, and also they weren't planning on being good that fast. No, that's true. They didn't anticipate one year of being bad and that's it. Mm -hmm. They traded Kessel were bad for exactly one year. And that's it. The Leafs really lucked out with that. Oh with yeah. Bottom yeah. Of and 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 Matthews and getting the first overall pick at all. Yeah. Like, really? And hitting on everyone. Everyone. All the top picks from that little era. Everyone. Yeah, Nealon, Marner, Matthews. The Riley in there. Riley um, hitting on, like, late picks like Brown and a flyer trade like Hyman. And, and then being able to trade all of those mid-round picks for assets. Mm-hmm. And then getting Taveras. And, and yeah, you've seen what happened to the Sabres who are perpetually tearing yep. down what's been built up. Um, they they tried to stink for one draft to get their guy, and they ended up with this Jack. They, they stunk for a decade. <laughs> no one, man. No one, man. Yeah. No one, yeah. man. No one. Man. It's crazy. Yeah, the Leafs did get extremely, yeah. extremely, extremely lucky. So, um, I, I want to ask you: Did you see any of the uh, the Battle of Alberta on Saturday? Uh, no. Okay. Well, what you need to do? That's the problem with the doing stream totally. straight into LFR. <laughs> totally. The Oilers look very good. Mm -hmm. I could have told you that. Uh, and it was interesting because, um, you know, even if, like, listen, with Calgary and Edmonton, you know that no matter how good or bad either of those teams have been, and both have seen their ups and downs in the last 20 years. They're going to hate each other. They always bring it for each other. But Edmonton, like, Derek Ryan, Connor McDavid, Connor McDavid, right off, like, right off the hop, Calgary's out of it. And then they come back with Mangiapane and Lindholm, and then Puyarvi and McDavid gets the third for the empty net. So... You know, and that's just eh, Connor McDavid casually scored his first three goals of the year. The Oilers did the uh, the easiest thing to do, and often the smartest. Mm -hmm. They became more of themselves. Interesting. Their forward group got way better. Their defense uh, mumbles through that, and their goaltending stayed the exact same. Mike Smith's probably not going to be as good as he was. Koskinen's probably not going to be as bad. You hope that's break even. Their defense uh, mumbles, mumbles. 
But like adding Hyman and Fogel to that Oilers group, they're going to score a shitload of goals. Yeah, they're going to be really hard to stop uh, this year, and they're gonna they're not going to have any trouble making the playoffs. As of right now, Edmonton is in first place in the Pacific, Calgary in last place. That's because Calgary's played one game. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, so who are the division <laughs> leaders? See, tanking works. The Oilers, the Sabers, uh, Ed- the- Edmonton, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Florida. Okay. There you go. Uh, early season people, I'm cursing because they've screwed me in fantasy. Andre Vasilevsky, you bum. Connor Hellebuck, you even bigger bum. Uh, who else has screwed me in fantasy? Mark Shifley, because you were suspended for a game. Bum. <laughs> Kucherov for getting injured. T- too late because Tic Tac Tomar had you and I lost.